many people are skeptical about the crypto market. But you understand that this is a whole new way of investing money. Besides the fact that they cannot risk their money in a volatile market, another reason as to why some people are still not getting in the hype of the cryptocurrency is because it is also confusing. The systems, the technicalities, and the terms. What is up guys, this is CryptoZones, and we're here with a brand new video to talk about crypto wallets. In simple terms, a crypto wallet is a tool that you can use to interact in a blockchain network. There are three different groups of wallets. Software, also referred to as hot wallets. Hardware, that may be referred to as cold wallets and paper wallet. To start off, we want to clarify that these wallets do not store actual cryptocurrencies. They are more of a gateway that provides the tools to communicate with a blockchain. These wallets can create the necessary information you need to use your cryptocurrencies. The main components of a crypto wallet are a private key, public key, and blockchain address. The most important of the three is the private key. Let us say that John needs to receive payment from Sarah. In order for this payment to happen, John needs to use a crypto program and create a brand new wallet. This new wallet will generate multiple public and private keys, as well as several blockchain addresses. For the purpose of explaining this case, we will consider that only one pair of keys in a single address. The program calculates a public key and a private key, then the public key generates a unique Bitcoin address. John will provide this address to Sarah and Sarah sends bitcoins from her wallet to John's wallet. This transfer is done without ever leaving the blockchain from one address to another. John can share his bitcoin address with others, but should never share his private key with others as the private key is what gives him access to his funds and for signing new transactions. The private key also gives him the capability to access his coins from other devices in case he loses his devices or even uses a different wallet. But it's crucial that the private key is kept safe as anyone with access to it could steal his funds. The private key can also be used to recover his public key in blockchain addresses, meaning the private key is the most important element of a cryptocurrency wallet. A lot of modern crypto wallets use what's called seed phrases. This is useful in generating multiple private keys. So instead of creating several backups for each private key in John's wallet, he just needs to back up the seed phrase. The seed phrase is basically a root key that will give access to all the keys and addresses in John's wallet. Now let's dig into the different types of crypto wallets. Once again, cryptocurrency wallets can be defined as hot or cold depending on their operating functions. A hot wallet is any wallet that is somehow connected to the internet. As an example, when John creates an account on Binance and sends his funds to his wallet, he is depositing into Binance's hot wallet. Hot wallets are simple to set up and give quick access to the funds, so it's favorable among frequent users and traders. Although a hot wallet is so much easier to use, the other option, a cold wallet, tends to be much safer. To store John's bitcoins because it is offline, with no connection to the internet and uses a physical medium to store the keys, making it extremely difficult to be hacked. This is also referred to as a cold storage and favorable for long-term investors. There are three types of crypto wallets software, hardware, and paper. First, the software wallet consists of at least three more types within its category. A web wallet, desktop wallet, and mobile wallet. Keep in mind, most of the software wallets are connected to the internet, so they are considered hot wallets. The web wallet lets John communicate with the blockchain through a browser interface without the need to install or download any apps. On the other hand, a desktop wallet is a software that John must download and execute locally on his computer 
and is considered to be safer compared to web wallets. The third wallet under the software wallet is a mobile wallet, which is similar to the desktop wallet, but made specifically for mobile apps. So John can conveniently access his mobile wallet directly on his smartphone. A great example of a mobile crypto wallet is the Trust Wallet, which supports various cryptocurrencies and it is integrated with Binance's decentralized exchange. The second type of crypto wallet is the hardware wallet involving physical electronic devices that generate private and public keys using a random number generator or RNG. These keys are stored to the device itself without being connected to the internet, making the hardware wallet a secure alternative for long-term cold storage. But the funds in cold storage are not easily accessible, so it could cause inconvenience to frequent users and traders. And the last type of crypto wallet is the paper wallet. As the name suggests, it is a piece of paper on which a blockchain address and its private key are physically printed out, typically as QR codes. So, John can generate and print a paper wallet and by scanning the QR code, he can send funds to his wallet. But as you can imagine, paper wallets pose inevitable flaws and their use is discouraged. One of the major flaws of the paper wallet is that it is not possible to send partial funds. It is only possible to send the entire balance all at once which has caused some people to lose funds. By the way, I hope you're finding this information valuable. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss another video full of great content. Whatever wallet you're using right now or planning to use in the future, it is crucial to back up your wallet data file and seed phrases as regularly as possible to avoid potential hassle and cost of regaining access to your crypto wallet. As you can gather by now, most of the crypto wallets are based on software for more convenience compared to the hardware wallets. But hardware wallets do tend to provide more security. Paper wallets are considered to be unreliable and outdated. Crypto wallets are an essential part of using Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, all with their own pros and cons. So we hope that we have helped you understand the differences here to choose the wallets that are most suitable for your needs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more useful crypto related contents. This is CryptoZones and we'll see you next time.